Hey guys, what's up? It's Bo. Today I'm just going to be showing you a website called GrooveShark. If you haven't heard of GrooveShark, GrooveShark is basically YouTube but for MP3s. It's a place where you can stream uh, MP3 files on the internet for free um, and there is a choice of going VIP if you want some extra benefits. Now, <clears throat> GrooveShark is actually pretty simple and in order to get there you just type in this um, this URL and I'll paste that in the description for you so you can just go directly to it. And um, first of all, you'll just be greeted with this. Um, this is basically kind of like Google. So if you want to search a song or an artist, you know, you just type in here. Let's look up something. And it'll give you a list of results. And um, it, there's a lot. This, the community is pretty big. A lot of people upload songs. And this is all peer-to-peer -peer, but you don't have to download anything it's like watching a YouTube video it's like you click on it and you just listen to the mp3 it doesn't download or anything um, so that's pretty cool um, another cool feature is that you can favorite songs and you can add them to playlists or anything like that now let's say you click on a song you'll see that at the bottom you can see album art and stuff like that or if you don't want album art or anything like that you can um make it smaller and as you see like if you play two songs you'll see that the last song that I played is still there so you can basically have your own playlist or you can favorite them or <clears throat> there's just a bunch of other stuff that you can do now seeing how I search an artist I can click on the artist tab and it'll show me Lady Gaga and a couple other related artists or anything like that it'll show me albums show me playlists and people there's just a bunch of stuff uh, so if a user created an, a Lady Gaga playlist or something like that or any anyone else like that or um, there'll be a playlist there and if you have a library you can go to my library uh, the, you have to create an account to make a library though which is really simple you just go to create account right here and you just type in some simple information and you're good to go now after that you can have friends and you can uh, you can have people on your friends list that you can talk to and share music with. Now, there's also a Now Playing tab. Well, it'll show you your last played songs and stuff like that. And you can click on it. You can clear You can clear everything here. You can save it. Of course, that's if you're a member, which I'll log in right now so I can show you what, what it's like if you're a member. Alright, log in. And you can save it. And you can save songs as a playlist and uh, you know all that good stuff. And smart playlists, it'll have popular music, like music that's mainstream right now that a lot of people are listening to. There's a bunch of songs here, so if you're looking for a song that's pretty mainstream and people are listening to, you just go to popular or recent new songs. And recent is because recent songs show up as um the songs that you've played in your history it's like the last 30 or so songs that you've played and if you have a library if you upload music let's say you want to upload an mp3 it would make a new tab in your browser and you'd be able to upload from there using a java based uh, web client but I don't have anything to upload so I'm not gonna but seeing how I uploaded a bunch of stuff as you see I have a bunch of artists here and I, I think I uploaded like 300 or so songs or something like that 400 500 anyway uh, you can see all the artists right here it'll have the artist information the albums the name of the song um, if it's favorited or not uh, what album that's from and all that and you can see you know if you made a playlist I didn't I don't have a playlist. you can see your favorites and your fans which is basically your friends list um, if you click home you can also change your uh, change your themes see by default uh, it will change sometimes um, right now it's a Green Day rock band theme and you can change it to different things if you have VIP you can have other themes or your own themes I'm not VA VIP so I don't use it uh, just the normal one is what I use uh, the default and you can there's a bunch of links down here that you can follow if you want there's just a bunch of stuff now if you want to be VIP you click down here on this little link it will say uh, a bunch of stuff like do you want to become VIP or 
some smart stuff like that's what she said for some reason it says that but as you see it made a new tab and you can see a bunch of stuff right here you can see a bunch of the benefits there's last FM integration there's Groove Shark mobile there's Groove Shark desktop there's just a bunch of stuff you can scroll here if you want to see what the VIP features are I personally don't think it's worth it it's three dollars a month or thirty a year because the only thing that I really care about is just listening to songs and of course you know if it's free it's good um, one thing that I don't really like is the ad bar and there is a way to get rid of this ad bar if you want although I think it goes against the terms of service but you're not really harming anything you're just getting rid of the advertisement so you need Firefox to do this and you need an add-on called stylish which you can see right here I already have installed in order to download stylish you're just gonna google stylish once you have that installed for your Firefox you're gonna look up uh, stylish and then click that and then you're gonna see the second link it's restyle the web with stylish and it's userstyles.org once you're here you can look up a, a huge variety of um, different scripts that people have made in order to get the web looking however you want. Once you're here, just look, gonna look up Groove Shark, and there's a couple scripts. Um, as you see, there's Groove Shark Remove Ad. You can just click on that, and you can say Install with Stylish. Click Install, and it will say it's installed. And then if I reload the site it should work and the advertisement should be gone and it is gone and that's pretty much the overview of Groove Shark. it's completely free uh, of course it's gonna help if you create an account a free account um, for the site for you to be able to save playlists and upload music it's uploading music is a really great way let's say if you have an iPod and you want to upload it online um, it will always be there so if you're at a friend's house and you don't listen to your music but you don't have your iPod or something just go to your Groove Shark account and it will be there waiting for you so that's a really cool feature to have um, and that's pretty much it there's nothing really more to it than what I've already told you um, other than that guys there's that's it I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching bye